Ryan McMaster successfully defended his 400 meters hurdles Commonwealth Games title. How does that feel? Feels good. You know, like um, like I told everyone, um, it's very good when you could defend a title. Um, based on the year I've been having, I'm very grateful. Uh, thank Father God for actually allowing me to come out here and finish injury free. I can hold it for you. I can hold it, I can hold it for you. <laughs> because I was going to ask, how would you describe the 2022 season for you? How has it been for you? For me? Ah, oh, man. An uphill battle with a downhill battle with a lot of crosswinds. Uh, but, you know, I'm grateful that, I, again, I'm grateful that I come out here and finish strong, injury free. That, that's the only thing I was looking for at this race. Medal or no medal, I just wanted to finish injury free. I've been battling with pain and injury every training, every race. So, this race, just injury free. So, in terms of preparation, how was it for you? Uh, more mental than physical for me. I know my physical strength would be there. I have a very strong background, so for me it's mental. Um, warming up, um, usually I stray away from my focus routine. I entered a comfort zone. I was texting and speaking to people just to calm my nerves and have a healthy mindset coming into the race. And so looking at the Royal Valley in the men's 400 meters hurdles, you know, and we had a new world champion this yeah. year, Alison Dos Santos. Yeah. What do you feel about that Royal Valley? And how are you trying to find your way back up there? You know, Kyron McMaster of 2017, right. 2018. Well, you see now, you yeah, asked a very good question. And um, I honestly have to say, the hurdles take a turn for the best. We, we've seen Within the last two to three years, unexplainable distribution in the 400 hurdles. For me, it's just to tap into that extra realm and get focused more and injury free. Um, this year, I feel I could have been a better contender, but I was plagued with injuries. But as a minor setback for a major comeback. So, what's next for you? Um, well, we have to look at the calendar. You know, uh, we, we was taking it race by race, we take it race by race, based on injury. So, you know, it's just to go to the drawing board and see what we can put on the drawing board now. All right, all right, my master, you just heard the mic up a bit. I know winning the title is sweet. The yeah. feminine should be sweet, sir. Yes, 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 yes. You know, um, you're looking at a two-time um, Commonwealth champion. So, you know, I don't think that comes slightly. We have some great competitors in the field. Yeah, Jai Yuhai, who's a world finalist, a great competitor, me and him rival all the time, I love him, and he just brings the energy, especially the rest of competitors, you know, so it, it feels good to be able to defend that title, especially here in Birmingham. Was it a difficult race out there? Um, when you say difficult, what do you mean? <laughs> it is stressful, you just have to go, yeah. I think the more stressful part was having confidence on where I wanted to execute. Especially not being able to hit certain distribution max in training. For me, it was just to hit the max that I wanted to hit, know where I wanted to go and where I wanted to be at specific um, times in the race. It's your title. Were you under pressure to go out there to defend it? No, I wasn't focused on the title really and truly. I was focusing on finishing strong and uh, healthy. I knew once I put a race together, it'll be a fight. That's it. How important is it for you to be an ambassador for your country, British Virgin Islands? You know, not many prominent athletes are known from there. Uh, it's major. You know, um, I come from a small island. A uh, small uh, island with very few. An uh, island with... My island does not have as much people in this stadium. I can let that sink in. So, I, I fell through the cracks and I'm opening the door for the rest of them. As you can see, last Commonwealth Games, I don't, I don't know how much athletes we had, but I know it wasn't as near as much as we have now. We had four athletics. Four. How much athletes we had at the last Commonwealth? Probably like eight or nine. Eight or nine. We walked with like 19 athletes or 18 athletes this trip around. So maybe I'm inspiring, maybe I'm not, but it's doing something. <laughs> the final, is there anyone you want to dedicate your medal to? Uh, God, I got. You know, I came out injury free, and that's the big thing. You know, my pops, honestly, he been on my back all year because he's not been struggling with injury. So he been a big part in it, calling me morning, noon, and night. He would probably come like five times and just to check on me because he knew 
at certain points I was depressed or whatever the case is. So I think if the medal would go to him, honestly, let, let him put it in our office so he could see his son accomplishing it. Thank you very much. Thank you.